I am the Rav Neer Singh Bhaiya. I am 81 years old. I have served in the Indian Army as well as the Border Security Force. I joined the Indian Army after passing out from the Indian Military Academy Terrible in September 63. I continued with the Army till June 67. Thereafter, I joined the Border Security Force as an assistant commander and continued there till I retired in 1992 as the Deputy Inspector General. During my service, while in the army, I took part in the operations of what is called the Indo Pak War of 1965. During that war, the battalion was part of the 4th Division of the Indian Army and we were assigned tasks in the Kengal sector. In Kengal sector, initially we had a separate and thereafter we took the position slightly backwards and there as many as 99 Pakistani tanks were either captured alive or destroyed. And they were all brought at a place known as Mikivin, which was little known as the graveyard battles. Those battles were the tanks which were used by the Pakistan army, supplied to them by the United States, which was considered to be one of the best tanks during that time. Barki ki har se Pakistani sena bokla gai, aur wo jawabi karwai karte huye. पंजाब के खेमकरण सेक्टर की तरफ बढ़े खेमकरण के असल उत्तर के इलाके में पाकिस्तान के पैटर्न टैंक गोले बरसाते हुए तेजी से आगे बढ़ रहे थे उन्हें रोकना एक बड़ी चुनौती थी लेकिन भारतीय सेना ने एक खास व्यूह रचना को अंजाम देते हुए पहले पैटर्न टैंकों को आगे बढ़ने दिया और फिर चारों तरफ से उन पर हमला कर दिया and the foremost duty and responsibility of every citizen in the country and particularly of the armed forces is the national integrity and security. And if anything happens or it is endangered, then we have to go about and do anything to protect them. Mrs. Gandhi, how tense is the situation on your frontiers with Pakistan? It's very serious indeed. The two armies are, are confronting each other. And of course, shelling has been going on for quite some time, even before I left. Do you really think it's possible that Pakistan would attack India with her present internal situations? Well, when there is the sort of chaos which they obviously have, they may take desperate action and feel that an external enemy might unite uh, some of the people there. What about you? Is there a situation in which you might attack Pakistan? Well, I hope not. Now, come down to this uh, Bangladesh Liberation War. This is a great experience. It prolonged for about 10 months. It started from 25th March 1971 until the Pakistan army they surrendered on uh, 16th of December. Okay. 
and in that war he took 93,000 POWs that is prisoner of war that is the soldiers officers of Pakistan that was the largest in any war in the world Before the Indian Army can think about leaving Bangladesh, 93,000 Pakistani prisoners of war will have to be transported to India. 25,000 of them are here in the Dhaka cantonment getting ready to leave, guarded from possible Bengali vengeance by the men with whom less than a fortnight ago they were at war. In 71 Division War, what have happened, that is my mother got really worried about this. I did not keep them informed about this, what the war was, and I was in the thick of it. But uh, my mother somehow came to know about this, so she got really about it. And uh, what had happened, this was really, soon as I got to know that. So I took a break and took a special permission and took a couple of days uh, leave and then came to came back to home to show my face to my parents and went back again. The initial stage. In the initial stage, we do not have any uh, guidelines or instructions from the headquarters or from the, for that matter, from the government. Now, for example, caravans of refugees were pouring in from uh, East Pakistan to our Indian border. Now, as a committee commander then, so I had to handle those fellows and what to do, whether to allow them to come in or to drive them back. So those are all decisions I had to take and I could take the decisions and I'm very happy that uh, uh, those decisions were higher. Later on, it was highly appreciated. Having said that, let me tell you about it, that war should be the last option. You see, if you go to the history, yeah. no war has ever solved any problem. You go to uh, First World War, what happened? You lost life, life of precious human being. Second World War is the same again. So, what happened? We raised the Berlin Wall. What happened finally? Mm -hmm. It came down. Mm -hmm. That means this is meaningless. So, the war cannot solve. War brings the miseries. Mm -hmm. 